Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew Jackson. I am a hemophilia patient with hemophilia B uh, moderate. Um, welcome to this um, short video presentation on uh, what is hemophilia. So what is hemophilia? Hemophilia is a genetic disorder caused by mutations in factor eight or factor nine genes and leading to defects in blood clotting. To understand hemophilia, it's important to understand some things about uh, the blood circulation. This illustration represents a blood vessel. Inside the blood vessel, there are a lot of important cells for the understanding of hemophilia. There are erythrocytes, platelets, and there are also proteins related with coagulation, and these are called factor. So we can see here factor 7, factor 8, factor 9, factor 10, and factor 11. For the purposes of this illustration, we have only shown these um, five uh, specific factors. However, it's important to note that uh, there, are, um, uh, there are others. So what happens when there's an injury? This is to illustrate the injury. So here we can see the bleeding begins and the platelets will migrate to the injury, initiate what is called primary, primary coagulation. However, this primary co coagulation is relatively weak. So these platelets can't work alone. What happens afterwards, as we can see here, is that the coagulation factors will migrate to the injury. So here we have factor seven, factor 11, factor nine, factor eight, factor 10. And these factors after uh, some other steps will create what is called fibrin. Fibrin is very important for what is called secondary coagulation. This secondary coagulation which is the result of the fibrin working together with the coagulation proteins is a much stronger coagulation than the primary coagulation, which was caused by the platelets on their own. So to understand hemophilia, it's important to understand how factor uh, coagulation factors work. So what is a factor eight? Factor eight is a gene in the DNA. There's a gene called the factor eight. And this gene is responsible for the production of the factor VIII proteins that will um, participate in the coagulation process. As we can see here, the same thing happens with factor IX. So the factor IX gene, which is a part of the DNA, is responsible for the production of the factor IX proteins. So what happens when uh, someone has hemophilia? So hemophilia A is the result of a mutation in the factor VIII gene, which means that it will um, produce less factor VIII uh, activation. Therefore, the uh, factor VIII uh, protein will function less well than in someone without hemophilia A. So the same thing can be said in hemophilia B um, hemophilia B patients have a mutation in their factor IX gene, which means that the factor IX proteins which it produces don't function as well um, the, as, the, uh, as in a, a, someone without hemophilia. So now about severity. Severity is in relation to the activity of the factor protein which is produced by the factor gene, either factor VIII or factor IX gene. So a person with severe hemophilia has um, under 1% of activity. Uh, somebody with moderate hemophilia has between 1% and 5% uh, severity um, activity. And a person with mild hemophilia has between 5 and 40% of activity. What happens when a hemophilia A patient has an injury? Let's go back to the illustration of the blood vessel. So as we can see, when the injury occurs, the bleeding starts. The platelets move in 
migrate to the injury in order to initiate the very first coagulation, so primary coagulation, but as we saw, this is a very weak coagulation. The, seven, the factors start migrating to the injury. We have factor seven, factor 11, factor nine. However, factor 10 does not migrate to the injury because of the absence of factor eight, which is required in order to activate factor 10. And therefore, there is no fibrin produced and the bleeding keeps growing more and more. Here we illustrate the same thing in the fact, uh, hemophilia B patient. So as we can see, the missing factor protein is factor nine. When after injury occurs, the patient bleeds. The platelets move in for the primary coagulation, factor seven, 11. However, factor eight does not migrate either because factor nine is required to activate factor eight and therefore there is no fibrin produced and the patient will keep bleeding and bleeding. This um, problem with bleeding can affect many parts of the body of people with hemophilia. Um, however, um, the, some of the most important uh, complications uh, created from bleeding are uh, concerned the joints. Um, so hemophilia patients can have uh, many different target joints. These uh, most common target joints include the knees, the ankles, the elbows, uh, and the hips. When I have a bleed, uh, what should I do? Well, uh, you should infuse either factor eight or factor nine, depending on the type of hemophilia. Um, so this is what we'll see in our next video. Um, what happens in the body when one infuses with factor eight or factor nine. Thank you very much.